What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. What just transpired is one of the most embarrassingly pathetic acts of juvenile attempts of creating some sort of manifestation of success from a complete failure of a company that Intellivision Amico has become from the Intellivision Amico cult that I have ever seen. That was a lot of words. I don't know if it made sense. But basically what I'm getting at is these people, they've sunk to an even new low, somewhere where I couldn't have even imagined before. They are now tagging Elon Musk on Twitter, begging him, pleading with him, praying that he will be the knight in shining armor, the savior for Intellivision. Let's quickly run through the five stages of grief. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. Where are we on the spectrum right now? Bargaining. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, subscribe, bell for notifications, all that fun stuff. Hit a comment in the uh, comments below. I'd appreciate any interaction I can get from you guys. It's awesome. So, yeah. I, uh, I saw last night that there were a couple people from the Intellivision Amico cult that were tagging Papa Elon on Twitter saying, come save us, daddy, because we're screwed. It's, it's sad, it's pathetic, it's embarrassing, but I think it gets to a much deeper rooted concern going on here. These people that are so heels dug in the ground on their position unwilling to come to any terms whatsoever of acceptance that Intellivision lied, manipulated, pulled the rug over their eyes, whatever you want to call it, they, they don't want to accept that Intellivision has been mismanaged into the ground. One of the most poorly run companies I have seen in my career in the video game industry. And now we're at the point where they've completely fudged everything beyond repair. Where the only hope is an angel investor to come through and save them. And they see, it's so pathetic, it's so pathetic. They see Elon Musk buying Twitter for 40 billion, gajillion, whatever dollars. And and they they are like freaking like leeches to the money. Oh, that guy has money. He just bought something. Let's go see if he can buy something and save a dying company. I got news for you guys. Companies die every day. Lots and lots of companies die because they were mismanaged failures or whatever they were trying to sell was not wanted by the consumer. And it failed. Very rarely, but it does happen, there's a company that's failing for other reasons that deserves to be saved because it's being... Well, for example, shorted into the ground by short sellers and there's value in it, uh, a.k.a. GameStop. Ryan Cohen comes in and Angel Investor saves it. There was value there. He saw it. A lot of us saw it. In television? Not, not so much. We got uh, an overpriced console, horrendous business deals they've made, leaders at the company, mass exodus... Tommy Tellerico, nowhere to be found. Phil Adam put in charge as CEO, the guy that literally was on the board of the Coleco Chameleon. We got Hans Ipswich now from the European CEO or whatever he was, departing. Or, or, or now, I'm sorry, because I'm sure the, 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 the uh, diehards will try to correct that. He's no longer the, the acting CEO of the, the company or whatever. He is now uh, on a contract role to save money. I, I don't know. Whatever they want to spin it for marketing purposes. The, the, what I mean is these people are no longer there anymore. The console has tripled in price from the original quote of 149 from Tommy Tellerico. And still does not have a single customer facing unit created they've had fake marketing lies on top of lies 
on top of lies on top of lies. Like literally this company's been built on lies. They've made fake unboxings pretending that they actually have the console when they don't. They've said things that are across the board, untrue, proven. They've done nothing. They've stolen my money and investors' money everywhere. And now, a company that's been mismanaged to hell. Like, this has been atrociously run. They want to be saved. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. It's pathetic. It's embarrassing. Like, if I had billions and billions and billions of dollars, I jokingly said I'd buy Intellivision and run it properly. But I wouldn't. Because that would give money to people that completely mismanaged it and reward them for their horrific efforts trying to steal money from people. That's what it becomes. That's, that's what it is. You can try to, to, to change the meaning of what I'm saying, but the results at the end of the day is all that matters. We got Tommy Tellerico making excuses for the pandemic, the part shortage, the financing problems, all this other stuff that's been happening in the background that is just hurting the company's chances of success and survival. Meanwhile, we see the Evercade versus launch, the Playdate launch, a number of other consoles out there launch, consoles in China being made right now, uh, PS5s and Xbox Series Xs being replenished on store shelves, and still nothing from Intellivision. Like at, at some point, you gotta you gotta ask like, what are you defending? A hope, an idea? Is it is it you don't want to be wrong? Because that was me for a long time. I didn't want to be wrong. I was in denial. I'll be the first to admit it. I've had a lot of people come at me being like, oh, you're you're only uh, changing your mind on Intellivision Amico because you couldn't deal with the, the heat that people were giving you. Or you couldn't take the, the abuse of people coming at you because you, you were just whatever Tommy said. You No, I, I literally looked at the facts on the table and came to the decision that I can't continue pumping this thing, marketing this thing, backing this thing, being excited about this thing. Why should I? Why would I? What has this company done for me to make me keep doing that? Now, I will say, a uh, part of what went into me defending in television for a long time was one, Tommy Tellerico was a very nice guy. I thought he was my friend and I decided to invest money in the company. He told me, oh, should I say, promised me this thing was on the launch pad, ready for takeoff. They just needed that final bump of funds to get over that hurdle and, and everything would be roses and rainbows and butterflies and happiness. I'm paraphrasing, but that, that was my mentality going into investing. And nothing. Nothing came from it. Nothing at all. And then we hear months later that they try another round of funding. To which I advise Tommy, no, 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 don't do another round of funding until you get this console out there. Then if you need another round, you can say, hey, we at least did this. Now we need to do this. We need another round. We're going for it. You know, show people something. Literally a bunch of cardboard boxes with coins ain't, ain't cutting it. Especially when those games are not even technically on them yet. Or completed for all we know. It's just more and more lies, more frustration. And anyway, cir circling back, because I'm getting off track here. So now, people who have, have not come to the phase of acceptance yet, they haven't gone through depression yet. Because I, I know, because I've gone through all these phases, like textbook with the Intellivision Amico. Uh, people that are in the Intellivision cult that have blocked me, when, when I decided to speak out against the company and the direction they've been going, I would say those people, that was the stage they were in, was denial. They didn't want to hear the truth. And I know, again, because I was there too. 
And now they're in the phase of bargaining, reaching out to people on Twitter, trying to help out in television to save the company. Like it's some sort of like lighthearted happiness story at the end of the day, like a fairy tale. It, it's, it's not. And I can tell you too firsthand because I went through that bargaining process too back when I was, it's so funny, like it's so textbook. I went through it when I was talking to Tommy and I was like, man, maybe maybe GameStop should buy this company and, and sell them as their console and get into the, no, you take a step back from it and be like, the hell? Like, why would you take on a sinking ship that's burning through cash? Everyone's jumping off, all the CEOs and heads of the company are leaving and, and no console has been produced. They owe crap tons of millions of dollars to investors and have produced nothing. So bargaining is, is one of the last stages you get to before getting to depression. And when they enter depression, that's when they're gonna go through the, the rationalization and, and realize they were wrong. Not everyone goes through these at the same time. I would even argue not everyone goes through these completely. It's, it's more of a, it takes, it takes a, a, a somewhat of a, intelligence level to go through these phases or else you just live in denial your whole life and you never accept the truth but i'd like to think eventually these people are smart enough to see the reality and and wake up and say okay this is scientific proof from psychologists of dealing with the stages of grief when you fall in love with something be it a person uh, an item a project uh, anything, if you become personally attached to it and then it doesn't work out, this is how humanity deals with the grief, the loss, the coming to terms that you're not always right. And in this situation, it's pretty goddamn obvious. Not saying that it's impossible for an angel investor to, to come through. It's really not. Uh, and uh, in this day and age, you never know. But this is this is desperation. This is bargaining, hoping for that angel investor and literally doing the work for this company that they weren't able to do themselves. And for what? To save them, to make them millions upon millions and millions of dollars while you get a, a new version of, I, I, don't even know jump man and are, are, are trying to like space strikers Gr great like it's just funny you you have been turned into uh, uh, an AI robot for this company to go do their their bidding for them and you're willingly accepting it without asking for anything in return because of friendships friendships you guys don't understand business. You don't understand what they're doing to you. Because if you did, you'd be pissed because they have ruined you. They've run your channel reputation into the ground. And because of that, you will never, ever be anything on YouTube. And because of that, I, I don't know. I think anyone that has any kind of self-respect would be a little bit ah, frustrated at the people doing that where they don't apologize, they don't care, they're ruining your reputation, going into quiet periods and, and, and making you look horrible. And your reaction is, let's, let's try to save this company that's literally ruined our reputation, made us look like absolute jackasses to the entire YouTube gaming community. Let's try to save this company because you know, saving the company saves your reputation. Or at least you think that. But I can promise you, it doesn't. People are smarter than that. They see right through everything. And and tagging Elon Musk to save in television is so embarrassing, so desperate. It's like it's it's like trying to ask a girl out that is like beautiful, gorgeous and a and, uh, four-star athlete, gymnast, and honor roll, going to an Ivy League school, and you're like, 
this fat loser that fails every grade and live in your mom's basement. Why is she going to say yeah? Why? You're delusional. It's not going to work. Like, it, there's not a match there. It's just not. And that is a parallel. I'm not saying that's what people are. I'm just saying it's a parallel to, to put into perspective asking Elon Musk to save a television. It is like so beyond comprehension that it is borderline. No, no, it's not even borderline. It is insanity. It, <laughs> it is like lock you up in a straight jacket and put you in an insane asylum crazy. It's not happening. And if anything, it's making you look even dumber than you already looked before doing it. And yeah, maybe this is some tough love. And an older version of me would have been a little bit more understanding and saying, hey, you know, they're trying what they can. Maybe it'll work out. Why knock them? Now, knowing what I know in the world that we live in, reality, wake up. It ain't happening. So you can, you can either step forward and a, a real full-on mea culpa I screwed up I was wrong here's how Tommy and the team fooled me here's why I did it and and why I'm trying to move forward from it or you can keep living this dream lie for as long as it's going to take you as it, the longer you do it the more it's going to run your channel into the ground maybe there's some chance to save yourselves but I don't I don't even think there is at this point. So yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's why these people just keep going back to the well of, of backing Amico because it's all they have. It's pathetic. It's embarrassing. It's depressing, which by the way, it's the next phase you're going to enter. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. smashing.